started the Hood to Coast Relay this morning at Timberline up on Mount Hood. They should start making their way through Portland sometime this afternoon. Cor Harlan is live. Hi, Ken. You know, they have been going out of here in 15 minute intervals since 5 o'clock this morning. The noon group just ran out of here. They've got a couple more entries as 19, uh, 12,000 people will leave the parking lot from here at Timberline Lodge, making their way down to Seaside. And it has been, to say the very least, a very entertaining morning. Three, two, one, go! As anyone who's ever bolted off the starting line of the Hood to Coast Relay can tell you, it is for many people not about how fast you run, but about how you look. I caught this hairy chest here, and I gotta go run to that guy with a flag and this beard. Is Their team name, 12 Hotties and the Squatty Potties from Bellingham, Washington. Rainbow leggings, pom-poms for the women, all the way to the beach. Sometimes when you're looking for creativity, you just gotta go with what nobody else is doing. My friends from China, a running team I met up here last year, are back this year. They love Hood to Coast. We may not speak the same language, but we do appreciate and understand each other very much. More hugs, more hugs. Yeah, there you go. Good luck I'm to you. Ready. You ready to go? I'm glad we meet you <laughs> oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Good luck to all of you. This Chinese runners represent one of 40 teams here from countries other than the United States. Providence Healthcare is a major sponsor of the relay. Their research benefits from the run. Their cancer fighting team up here this morning includes cancer doctors whose research is making big strides in helping more people survive cancer. Uh, it gives hope for cancer patients, and we are out here. Uh, to deliver some uh, on on that promise and and uh, and discover the new treatments uh, that can be used in the future. And finally, if you see this group united in stride, know that they are the first team of blind runners ever in Hood to Coast who will go the distance, 200 miles to the beach, with help from tethered guides who will help them navigate the terrain. You don't need vision to run. You know we have our sighted guides, so we can run free. It's our place that we can escape and just go out and especially explore cool places. Those blind runners are really awesome. Their co-captain of their team is an eye doctor at Kaiser Permanente that put this team together with the interests of allowing people without sight to benefit uh, in the Hood to Coast as well. This has been very typical of what the parking lot up here has looked like all morning long. New waves of people arriving here for the next couple of hours. Ken, they'll depart from up here. The real fast teams will start up here between 1 and 2 o'clock, and uh, these teams that are starting the latest Believe it or not, we'll be amongst the first people to arrive in Seaside sometime early tomorrow morning. Ken, Jenny? Yeah, well, that was what always surprised me is that we, around the end of leg yeah. two for us on the coin team, we would start to see these elite runners just zipping by us. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. where do these people come yeah. from? Yeah. So you got that yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw a Japanese team last year at the, one of the checkpoints, and these guys handed the, the wristband off. And I mean, they were flying. It didn't yeah. even look like they were touching the ground. They were moving so fast. So yeah, some that's of these what people, it is, I guess. Some of these people take the hood to coast seriously. Well, they don't do. They? And then there's, the, yeah, then there's us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The coin six news hounds. We're out on the road, too. Yeah.